but it's not one, it's higher than one. Or fractions could be a fraction. So I could have something like this. That is a nonlinear inequality. That's a quadratic equation with an equality in it. So what I'm going to do with a problem like this is different than linear. Linear, you isolate x, you put the, all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the opposite side. Here you have a quadratic. So you want to move everything to one side. If you move it to one side, you end up with this. And so step number one, I moved everything to one side. Step number two, change. I'm going to take that greater than sign and change that sign to it, to equal sign. Why? So I can find the critical values. So let's change that to an equal sign. I will have x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Can we find what values will make that 0? Can we factor that? Isn't that x minus 3 times x plus 1? Set each value equal to 0 and solve it. That's why we made it 0. x will have to be what? 3. x will have to be what? Negative 1. We found two critical values. Notice there is no equal sign. See that here? Here's my number line. This is the minus 1. Open circle. This is the 3. Open circle. And the question now, okay, which one is the answer? Is the answer here, here, there? Which one is it? Well, I don't want to sit and think about it. It says, well, you know, step number three, then how do we figure out what the answer is? We use test points. We take points in each segment and we test them to see if that's true or not. So let's pick a value to the left of minus 1. What do you want to use? Negative 2 is good. Let's pick a value between minus 1 and 3. What do you want to use? 1 is good. 0 is better. Makes the math easier. And pick a value bigger than 3. 4. 4 is fine. 5, 6, 7. Doesn't really matter. Let's plug them in. Take a negative 2 and square it. Then subtract 3 from it. Is that bigger than 2 times a negative 2? Yes. What's negative 2 squared? 4. That's a minus 3. Is that bigger than what? Negative 4. Is 1 bigger than negative 4? Yes. That means this is a solution. Let's try the 0. Plug it in. Is 0 squared minus 3? Is that bigger than 2 times 0? What is 0 squared? 0 minus the 3. Is that bigger than 0? Is negative 3 bigger than 0? No, this is not a solution. Let's try the 4. Is 4 squared? minus 3 bigger than 2 times 4. 4 squared is what? 16 minus 3. Is that bigger than 8? Is 13 bigger than 8? Yes. That's also a solution. So where's your answer? From where? Negative infinity to where? Minus 1. Are they included? No. There's no equal sign. 
or add to it from where to where? 3 mean 3. 3 to infinity. So from here to there, also from here to infinity. And that's how we handle all nonlinear inequalities. I'll do a couple more. We find the critical values first. Once we find them, we take a test point. Now, nonlinear does not mean always quadratic equation. It could be, but it could be something else. Another way of doing it, actually, if you want to see it, just to show you that, you could graph this function, because we're saying what? I want it to be greater than zero. So graph it and see where is it above the x-axis. That's a greater than zero. So I bet you if I graph that, we said what? Based on the picture here, this is the minus one. This is the three somewhere here. If you graph, it's going to look like this. So where is it above the zero? Right here and up. And here the three and up higher. So my solution, this piece and that piece. Okay. What about if it's not a quadratic equation, still nonlinear? Like um, this problem. You know what? Let me rephrase this question. I was about to say do this. Can you tell me what the domain? Find the domain. Can you find the domain of this? How do we find the domain when you have a square root? What do you want? Don't you want what's under the square root in this case? x minus 3 over x plus 4 to be what? Greater than or equal to 0. Right? You want that to be greater than or equal to zero. Because if that value is a positive number or zero, you can take the square root of that. If it's negative, you can't do it. So that's where we, we need to know, like, nonlinear inequality, why we have to solve it for a problem like this. Now, we know x cannot be negative 4. Can't be. Why? Well, no, nothing to do with the negative 4 there. Oh, because it's going to be zero. Zero on the bottom. Right. Can you divide by zero when you have a fraction? So minus 4 will be an open circle. Right now, I can tell you that. I don't even have to. That's one of the values. The other value is what value makes that fraction zero? So basically, you take the top, and you set it equal to zero, and you see what that number is. You take the bottom and set it equal to zero, and you see what that number is. We know x equals negative 4. We already picked that value. We said it can't be. But can x be 3? Sure you can, because what happens when x is 3? Isn't that 0 over 1, which is what? 0. Can you take the square root of 0? Yes. So x equals to 3. So 3 is actually a closed circle here. It can be 3. But negative 4 can't be. And now I've got to take a test point in each segment. So pick a test point to the left of negative 4. Is negative 5 good? Pick something between negative 4 and 3. 0. Pick something more than 3. 10. Doesn't matter what number we use. Let's plug it in here and see if that's bigger than 0. When it's negative 5, is negative 5 minus 3 divided by negative 5 plus 4, is that bigger than or equal to 0? 
Isn't that negative 8 over negative 1? Is that bigger than or equal to 0? Is 8 bigger than or equal to 0? Yes. Let's try the 0. Is 0 minus 3 over 0 plus 4, is that bigger than or equal to 0? Is negative 3 over 4 bigger than 0 or equal to 0? No, a negative number will never be bigger than 0. And the last one, the 10. 10 minus 3 over 10 plus 4, is that bigger than or equal to 0? 7 over 14, is that bigger than or equal to 0? Any positive number is bigger than 0. That's a yes. So I got my answers. Now, what is my domain? X from where? Negative infinity to where? Negative 4, neither one included. Add to it from where? Oh. Add to it. That's a square bracket here. From 3 to where? Infinity. So that's a square bracket here. Let me make sure it's 90 degree here. This is parentheses. Square bracket, parentheses. I'll try one more of these. Another nonlinear inequality. x plus 1 over x minus 1, I want it to be greater than 2. Well, can we clean that? That looks ugly. Usually you want that side to be 0. You want everything on one side. Remember, move to one side? So let's move it to one side. Isn't that minus 2? And now you have a fraction, that's a 2, 2 over what? Isn't it over 1? So if you want to subtract fractions, what do you need? Which is what? X minus 1. So I'm going to multiply the bottom by X minus 1. I have to multiply the top by X minus 1. So I'll make it one fraction. I'll have x plus 1 minus, if you multiply that, isn't that 2x minus 2? I'm still using the parentheses in the front. But that's 2x minus the 2. And now let's subtract. What's x minus 2x? negative x. What's 1 minus a minus 2? 1 minus a minus, that's a plus. 1 plus 2 is 3. We know x cannot be what? 1. That's one of the critical values. This is the 1. The 1. So take the top, set it equal to 0, and find that number. Take the bottom, set it equal to 0, and find that number. We find the answer for the bottom. What's the answer for the top? 
Isn't that free? Move that negative x to that side becomes a plus x. Is the three open or closed circle? What do you think? Why open? Because what? Correct. There's no equal sign here. The previous one, we had an equal sign. That's why it was a closed circle. It was, what was it? Greater or equal to zero. So it can be zero. This one says can't be zero. So this is also an open circle. And now we're going to take a test point in each segment. How about what? Should we use the negative, uh, uh, zero maybe? Between one and three, what should we use? Two, more than three, what should we use? Five. Five, okay. So let's plug them into the original problem. I like to go to the original one, just in case I made a mistake. When x is zero, is zero plus one divided by zero minus one, is that bigger than two? Is negative one bigger than two? No, this area is not a solution. Let's try the 2. Plug it in here. Is 2 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1, is that bigger than 2? What's 2 plus 1? 3 over 1, is that bigger than 2? Yes. That's a solution. Let me try the 5. Is 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 bigger than 2? Is 6 divided by 4 bigger than 2? No. So where's my answer? From, from 1 to where? To 3. And that's how we handle non-linear inequalities. We move everything to one side. We try to factor them to get the critical values. If it's a fraction, look and see what makes the top zero and the bottom zero. Use those numbers and take a test point in each segment to see if it's yes or no.